had to quit donating plasma, at least for a little while. And here's the reason. Um, and I know I made a video about how I'm gonna try, or I donated plasma for a year. I'm gonna edit the title to put, I tried donating plasma for a year. Um, and it's just, I don't know. I, I know my mom worries about it. She has concerns for my health. Um, she's kind of gotten used to the idea that I'm just a regular when it comes to donating plasma. There's also been people in the comments that have expressed concerns and, and I, I'm sure um, it, it makes sense to me, like I'm not in denial, it does make sense to me that donating plasma twice a week for a long period of time will probably, could probably do damage to your veins in the long run. Um, it's probably not the healthiest thing. It just, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know all the studies that are out there. I haven't done a ton of research. Um, but yeah, it makes sense that if you're constantly depleting your body of plasma, I mean, your body, it, it'll always be able to, uh, re like produce the plasma again. Um, but it's just, it's a very draining thing to do. Um, and anyway, I guess the reason that I decided to stop, at least for a while, I'll probably, maybe I'll go back as soon as January. It kind of depends on my financial need. Um, I'm a married man, I'm a college student. I can only work part-time because of my classes. And so, um, and, I mean, there's a lot of financial demands. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir here with that. But the reason I quit for this month, of at least of December, is because it's the last time I donated and, and even maybe the time before that, the last two times maybe, I just felt really sick um, afterwards. And I don't know if I did something wrong in preparing to donate. You do want to be pretty um, smart about how you prepare to, to go donate plasma. Like you wanna get a good night's rest the night before, you wanna be hydrating really well before, you want to have eaten within two hours of your donation and so it does take some thought beforehand to go in and make sure you have a good experience and, and uh, you're less likely to have um, maybe nasty side effects like feeling like you're going to pass out or feel sick or something um, and, and I, I've mentioned in previous videos I've struggled with that before not I haven't ever actually passed out but I felt kind of queasy and um, you know get gotten the symptoms of what would lead up to actually passing out and losing consciousness but this last time I felt more like nauseated like I was almost going to throw up and so it was just like a, the most extreme case I've had and uh, I had been debating whether or not I wanted to try donating in the month of December anyway for one the plasma center didn't offer any perks or extra bonuses rather um, for instance I sometimes so so the normal pay scale is first donation of the month, $25, at least where I go. Um, a lot of places do offer more money, I'm learning. But where I go, it's $25 on the first donation, then $5 added to each consecutive donation in the same month, so 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, but a lot of times they'll say, oh, on the fifth donation of, of the month, we'll add $20. Or if you donate nine times this month, we'll add $100 or something crazy like that. But in the month of December, they decided not to do any bonuses. Um, and also I, I knew I was going to be traveling. I was going to be visiting family and I'd be out of town for long periods of times, uh, where I couldn't go to the, to donate. And, um, they incentivize you to go as often as possible twice a week. So I figured, well, it, it's not really worth it to me if I can't like build up those additional $5 bonuses every time that you donate, because maybe if I only get to donate three times in December, um, I'm only getting those first initial donations that aren't worth it, worth as much, like 25, 30, 35. Whereas if I can donate for a whole month, twice a week, that last donation is gonna be worth $65 or even $70. Um, so those were kind of the factors that played into me taking a break and stopping. Um, and, and I just really made up my mind when, cause I mean, still some money is better than no money, right? So. Nor, under normal circumstances, I may have just decided, well, I won't make as much in December, but it, it's still good money for the amount of time I put into it. But I, I think it's probably a healthy thing and a, and a good idea that if you're gonna donate plasma a lot to give yourself a break to recover for a while and um, 
not maybe donate for a year straight of twice a week. Uh, and and it, I would advise you to do your own research and to uh, look into some of the things that I may have not covered in my video when I talked about some of the horror stories of donating plasma, the negative things that could happen, the risks involved. Um, these are just from my personal experiences, what I'm drawing from. So definitely look into that. I just wanted to kind of let you know what I'm up to. So um, I will change the title of my first video where I, I said that I, I'm, do I'm donating plasma for a year straight, like that was my goal. So now I'll change it to I tried. Um, and I, I'll, I'll give you more updates and let you know the things that I learn in the future um, in, in following videos. Some of you have asked really great questions in the comments. I appreciate your interest and uh, your willingness to ask questions. And I hope that I've answered those questions well in the comments. If you do have questions, feel free to uh, make a comment with those questions. But I think I might also make a video where I address some of the frequently asked questions about donating plasma because they, they are really important things I think to consider um, as you decide whether or not that's something you want to do. So subscribe. I'll make a frequently asked questions video here soon and uh, I have a, a other a, blah, blah. I, I'm struggling. Maybe plasma donating plasma has done this to me. It's like frazzled my brain permanently. I don't, I don't think so but anyway I do have a few more things up my sleeve that I think I'll try and make a video about when it comes to plasma and uh, if nothing else I'll give you an update on my plasma bandage ball so you can see how big that's gotten um, anyway thank you for watching please subscribe for more information on donating plasma I do this isn't a super sustainable idea for a channel to just like only make videos about donating plasma this wasn't really like my plan or my idea for what I want to do on my personal channel um, it, I don't mind doing it. I like doing it. I think I'm providing some value and in, in answering some questions, uh, that you, that you guys have about the plasma donation process. And so I'll continue doing that. But in the future, in the long run, I want to try producing a lot higher quality content, um, just stuff that I care more about, uh, personally, like, I don't know. I, I really, I really do want to grow on new t on YouTube and uh, produce stuff that I can like look back on and feel like, wow, that was something I really put a lot of time and effort into. And so I know that's obscure and quite ambiguous what my vision is for the future. But um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to make a whole YouTube channel that's you know sustainable for years to come on uh, just the subject of donating plasma. So definitely subscribe. I'll give you more uh, info as I learn it and uh, as you ask questions to me for about plasma, but also expect that there will be different content coming in the future, hopefully higher quality content that you'll also enjoy. Um, and that's that. So I appreciate it once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.